you divine soon. Why don't make you stand up for us instead Can of protecting you believe it? Right? Tom Rainier himself. What do you think will happen? You must know something about Rainier. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. Guess not. have, of course, notified the stakeholders. They are what is a seeker of truth, exactly? A sort of Templar, I suppose. Why do you ask? Everyone's talking about the one in the... I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. I called you a friend. I trusted you. You lied. You thought I was Blackwall. I didn't want to tell you otherwise. As Blackwall, I was something. I had a purpose. I could make amends. Why are you here? I needed you to know you aren't alone in this. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage. And I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. I know you're more than what you say. Have some faith in yourself. Yes? Who were you before this mess? I was a captain in the Orlesian army. Well regarded, respected. But it wasn't enough. One mistake. One mistake and everything I worked for fell apart. The man on the gallows, Mornay, who was he? My second in command. He was a good man. When I heard he'd been caught, I was resolved to stop his execution. Couldn't let another die for my mistake. 
I need to know about Blackwall. The real Blackwall. We met in a tavern when I was on the run. I was nothing. A waste of life. But he wanted to recruit me. We headed to Val Chavan for the joining. But Blackwall insisted on making a stop along the way. An old ruin from one of the previous blights. He said it led to the deep roads. I was to go down alone, find a dark spawn, and fill a vial with its blood. When I returned, I found the warden ambushed by more of the creatures. He took a blow for me. He shouldn't have died. It should have been me. Not saying I disagree, but Blackwall clearly thought you were worth saving. No one should have died for me. He... He would have wanted me to carry on to Valshavan, I'm certain. But without Blackwall, there was no proof that I'd been recruited. That I didn't kill him. I couldn't go to the Wardens. But I couldn't just walk away. So... Rainier died. And Blackwall lived. I need to know the details of what you did. Who you killed, why. I betrayed the Empire and assassinated a general, all for gold. The man was General Vincent Callier. My employer was a Chevalier, Robert Chapuis. Sir Robert believed that Grand Duke Gaspard was the rightful ruler of Orlais and would eventually take the throne. He thought that by eliminating one of Céline's loyal supporters, he might endear himself to the true Emperor. I can't say if Robert's plan would have worked. I didn't care. There was good coin offered. And I took it. By the time Sir Robert's involvement was uncovered, I was long gone. Of course, the Grand Duke disavowed any knowledge of the act and publicly condemned it. Robert killed himself. Poison in his wine. Another victim of the great game. You got your men to help you. What did you tell them? They didn't know who they were attacking. I told them it was an important mission. They trusted me without question. Just as your men trust you. Our men follow me because they believe our cause is righteous. They believe it because that's what you tell them. My reports say that Callier was with his family. You had them all slaughtered. I didn't know Callier would be traveling with his family. I assumed only soldiers, armed guards. My men have been told to eliminate everyone. They'd seen war. They thought they were defending their country. No one likes to think about that. But it's names that carry power in this world. Bloodlines. Heirs. No matter how leaders like Selene or Gaspard pretend the game is played, that's how real war is waged. That shouldn't be how wars are fought. There's no need. War is unfair, and the sky is blue. But you're right. There was no need for what I did. There's another thing I'm still wondering. Yes? That's all for now. I have Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian army. Before the Civil War, he was turned, persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. A few lucky ones, like Mornay, managed to escape. This is helpful, or at least educational. Don't blame yourself. We all made this mistake. <sighs> what do we do now? Black Wa Renier has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him for it. Yet he fought as a warden, joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? 
He wanted to change. To prove that he'd really left his past behind. He had to face up to it. Saving Mornay the way he did took courage. I'll give him that. But I can't tell you what to do. Have Renea released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. We don't have the strength of treaties to judge a true Grey Warden. Heroes, then. Saved us all a while back. I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the Guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Your name is Bianca? It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchants Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. I take it you're a friend of Varix. Who isn't a friend of Varix? You have met him before, right? Any friend of Varix is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Well... Maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's Folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. Who could have given away the tag's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire. Went to every corner of the continent. Maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads. But in practice... Well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. We need to deal with this. 
As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. and adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. Right. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? Blackwall intended you join the Wardens. I will let them decide your fate. But only when Corypheus is dead. For now, Tom Rainier, the Inquisition needs you. As you command. Blackwall gave you the chance to atone through action, not merely punishment. I find I can do no less. I am grateful for this, Inquisitor. And I will serve for as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> 